Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, so for today's video, I'm gonna do a little bit of like a haul video. Um, I recently bought some things and I'm gonna show them you guys. It's going to be like some like fun miscellaneous items and then also some bags and shoes as well. Um, and all of them are going to be from Coach, but one item. Um, and I also thought about waiting to do this haul a little later too, because I do have one more item coming this way, but I think I'll just do it in like a separate video or like tag the item on in a different haul. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd just do this video because I'm like really excited for the items I bought. So yeah, um, if you're interested in today's haul video, um, please do stay tuned. And then just for full disclosure, I do currently work for Coach as an SA. However, all the bags on my channel um, are for my own personal collection and I'm just here to share with you guys my personal love for handbags. Also, if you guys like these kind of videos, um, please do consider liking and subscribing because all I do on my channel is just talk about handbags and stuff. So if you like handbags and stuff, then please do consider liking and subscribing. And you can also follow me on Instagram too for more handbag related content. Okay, so the first two items are not really like handbag related, but it's just something I really like. Um, so if you guys like watched the channel, you guys know I really love the K-pop group Twice. So I went ahead and got their new album, um, Formula of Love. And um, I don't know, I just thought it was a really cute album, first of all, because like the layout is kind of like um, like a notepad and their whole theme is like science and stuff. So they have like cute little like formulas on here and stuff. And then the back has all their songs um, and the title track for this album is Scientist. So if you guys haven't like listened to that song, I totally would recommend it. It's a really um, cute song from Twice. It's not like their usual title track, I feel like. Um, it's a little more like relaxed, um, but it's still really cute and catchy nevertheless. And then on top of that, um, I also got this hang tag monogrammed too. Um, and these are the hang tags you can buy separately. Um, and I think these are the larger ones for like $12 and they have a smaller one for eight. Um, but I got their formula of love, which is super cute. So it's, um, O plus T equals heart and O stands for onces, which is what they call their fans. And then T is obviously twice and then the equal sign and then heart, um, on there. So I think it's like really cute, um, just, um, to have like on bags and stuff. And then with my other like twice hang tags too. So yeah, love this lot. And then the second item I bought are actually a pair of shoes. Um, so if you guys like watch the channel, you guys know I don't really buy a ton of shoes. I feel like the only pair of shoes I've really revealed on the channel or did like a haul over is just um my shearling clogs and then like the shearling slides. Other than that, I'm just somebody who doesn't buy a lot of shoes. I feel like personally for me, I'm more invested in my handbags. Um, I feel like those bring me a lot more joy and happiness um, versus shoes. Um, however, these are just really cute and so I, I really had to get them um and they are these these are the coach penny loafers or the lug loafers I believe um and they have them in both men's and women's but not in this color combination but the style um so for the men's line they have these color here which is pale yellow and then they also have a pair um in pale lilac as well and those are so so pretty um in the women's collection they have the lug loafers um in the like lipstick red and then the oak brown signature too um but i went ahead and got these in the pale yellow color and here's an up close look at the lug loafers themselves so as you can see um it does have a very chunky um lug sole that's made of rubber and the cool thing is that um around the shoe is the signature c detailing that wraps around the shoe and then on the back as well it says coach on there which i think is really cool and i did do a quick little measurement and these are about two inches tall so i'm usually five seven but wearing these i feel like a giant um because of the extra two inches so i think it makes me around like five nine um so i feel like these are like really great confidence boosting shoes you know like that extra little bit of height really helps um and i don't know i feel like so cool in them because obviously the color as well um and the, here's a quick look at the interior as well so it has that signature seam lining the leather here i feel like is like in a saddle brown color and then there's a little bit of suede on the back of the heel so it's pretty comfortable um and then here's a look at the little patch too that says coach there which i think is kind of cool and then the great thing is that this is actually like a penny loafer so there is a penny um design that is put in this one piece of leather here and it's a combination of brass and silver hardware and it just has a c for coach 
And then here's what the shoes look like on the bottom. Um, so they do look a little bit dirty. Um, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but I did give these a little bit of a test run. Um, because I loved how they look so much. Um, I just like had to like try it on a little bit. Um, but I did disinfect these for the video, so they are clean. Um, to like the most I can do. Um, but this is what they look like on the bottom, and then you have your little horse and carriage detail right there. Um, I know in the past that Coach used to like um have some shoes that spell out Coach, you know, with like how how the soles are made um but these here are just like kind of like a regular looking shoe at the bottom but yeah here's what the bottom looks like when it comes like sizing of these loafers i did get these in a nine and a half um i feel like for me i wanted to be safe and get that extra half size just because of um, my very wide feet um i need that extra bit of space right here and also here in the toe box as well so i'm very happy that i did order these in a nine and a half i usually am like a nine in coach shoes and then eight and a half in the Coach City Souls because I feel like those shoes do run a tad big. Um, but I did get these in nine and a half and they are very comfortable. Um, I did also test run these without socks as well. I know it's a little gross in TMI, but um, it is the truth. So I did wear these for four and a half hours without any um, socks and they are super comfortable and I did not get any blisters back here either. Um, so I love that. And then, like I mentioned earlier too, these do come in um, a ton of different colors. So there's this color and then also um, the lilac color as well, like for two colors for men and then like two different colors for women. Um, but the lilac color in like the men's line like is completely sold out. And then I think these are almost sold out online as well. Um, and in the women's collection, they have another pair of lug loafers that looks just exa exactly like this, but obviously women's sizing. Um, and they are, I think, in a lipstick red, which I believe is now sold out. And then the signature um, in the oak color as well, I believe. Um, I think the C print ones are still in line for women's, but the red is gone. Um, but yeah, these are the shoes and they're super cute. So hopefully Coach makes more of these because I love these a lot. The next item is going to be a handbag and it's going to be the first of two handbags. And um, it's a bag that I really wasn't sure if I needed to add to my collection just because I feel like I already have enough of these bags but I love them so much I couldn't say no um and the color as well I feel like the color is just something I don't have a ton in my collection however um, I feel like this time around this particular shade of this color looks really good um and I'm talking about this bag right here which is the Rogue 25 in the color Brick Red. And then here's like a quick little tour of the Rogue 25. I'm pretty sure you guys know about the bag already, so I'm just gonna do a quick little like um, show and tell of the bag. So here is the back of the bag, and then here's the front. I like, lost the hang tag, so I wasn't confused. Um, but the bag is completely symmetrical on both sides. Um, so the back and the front look exactly the same. And then on the front, you get your Coach um, 1941 hang tag right here that has the little metal horse and carriage and the metal cap. Um, you have four rivets right here as well on each side of the bag. Um, and the top handles too on this one, because it is like the newer Rogue model, um, you can tuck them inside the bag or have them laying on the front of the bag like so, um, because they have the new built-in um, rolling hardware right here and onto the D-rings. So I think that's really awesome. And then you have your color blocking detail on the side for this version because it is a color blocked style. So you have your ox blood here and then um, the belting detail on the side is in the color teak. And I believe on this side here, um, it has the Coach 1941 stamp with the cowhide stamp as well. And then on the bottom, you get a leather base here and then four feet and then your little leather tabs. And then um, in the center, it is embossed with genuine gloved hand pebbled leather and like the gold foil. And then you get your two extra um, shoulder straps as well. Inside the bag, you'll notice that there are three compartments. So you have two sections here lined in suede. Um, and the new features on each of these pockets is that on the back here, you have a larger snap pocket um, that is suede on the front and lined in the 1941 linen liner. And then on the other side, you have a cute little credit card pocket right here. Um, that is a little leather panel and it holds about one or two um, credit cards. And then in the center, you have um, your zip compartment lined in the 1941 linen liner. And this one is a snap pocket and your story patch is right um, below that little press stud. And then on the inside, it's lined with fabric. And all I have in here is just like the little care instructions. Um, and this bag also does feature two zipper pulls as well. So here is one of them. 
and then here's the other so yep that is the rogue 25 I forgot to you actually do get a long adjustable and um, removable crossbody strap as well with the bag um so as you can see here here's what the bag strap looks like um it connects to the like 4d rings on the inside of the bag via these large clips right here that you can pick your corner on where you want to hang the bag strap and then here is the buckle as well that you can use to adjust the um strap so you make it as long or as short as need be and as you can see it is also a very substantial bag strap as well which is one of the things i love about the rogue 25 bags and the main reason why i decided to add the rogue 25 in this brick red color into my collection is i just thought the color was really pretty um i don't know there's something about this particular red with the color block and detail looks really good so yeah like the body of the bag is red but the side panels here being ox blood and this teak color looks really good um with the brass hardware as well and i don't really have a lot of row 25 bags with the brass hardware detailing um and brass hardware is just the hardware of like choice for me like I just really like brass hardware so I feel like this entire combination looks really pretty um and I also just love the new Rogue 25 features too I love the extra rolling handles here on the like top handles and then also the longer um crossbody strap as well I think those additional features um really like helped me push me over the edge to get this bag um because the only other Rogue I have in my collection that has those features are just the um well, it's just one, but it's just like the rogue and like the green color from earlier this year. So yeah, now um, I have another one in my collection. So yeah, love that. And then the last item for today's video is just something um, very different in my collection. And I've never had a bag like this before. Um, and that is this one right here, which is the large like rogue tote in the signature shearling material. Um, and this was definitely one of my like top wishlist handbags for this collection. Um, and I'm super happy to finally add one to my handbag collection. And then when it comes to this particular row tote bag, as you can see, it is made up of eight pieces of shearling for like the main body. So you have four panels on the front here and then four panels on the back. And then the way the bag is constructed, um, the seams are actually on the outside. So you'll get this kind of like, um, plus sign or cross detailing on the front and back of the bag, which I think is kind of cool because it gives the bag a little bit of extra dimension. Um, and then on the sides as well, you'll see that there is this like seam that runs down each side of the bag. And then on the bottom of the bag, um, it is going to be a brown leather base. And I believe the color is teak. Um, and then it does feature four um, brass feet as well on the bottom there. And then because it is the rogue um, style, it does feature two rogue top handles as well and then two extra removable shoulder straps um also in the same matching teak color as well and then on the inside of the bag it does have one large like zip top closure like so but i went ahead and unzipped it and on the inside it is unlined so it actually has a very soft um like material i don't know what this is technically called but it's like suede like in a sense um, on the interior of the bag, so it's like super soft, and then it has a leather um, trim around the top as well. And then on the side, you do get one large slip pocket and with your story patch attached to it and is a snap button closure pocket as well that is fully lined in leather. Um, but yeah, it is a very simple bag on the interior, and then I'm going to be able to see on the very bottom of the um, tote bag, it is also leather lined as well with like a little, little leather base here. It's like really hard to show, but yeah. There's that. And then on this zipper end here, um, you also do get a 1941 stamp as well. You'll get a little cowhide stamp on the little zipper tab. And then I almost forgot to show you guys the hang tag. Um, you do also get a little 1941 hang tag as well on the bag. The main reason why I wanted to add this bag into my collection is number one, it is a really um, fun statement bag being in this beautiful soft shearling with the coach signature C details embossed onto the bag itself. Um, and I feel like that's like really the main reason why I wanted this bag. Um, and it's also just a really cool collector's item too. I feel like this is such a interesting bag that coach probably won't make for a while if not like ever again, I feel like um, because it is just so different, unique. Um, I don't think Coach has ever done a full shearling bag that is of this size. 
Um, they have done other shearling bags in the past, but they've always been pretty small, like the shearling Hutton bag or the shearling um, like tabby shoulder bag, but you know, nothing of this giant size before I feel like. Um, if I, you know, am wrong, please leave a comment down below if you know if Coach has ever made a shearling bag this big. Um, but yeah, I think it's just so cool. And I already do have another rogue tote in my collection as well from this newer collection. Um, it's the Trump Leo effect or like the illusions one. Um, and I really loved how that one was, you know, worn and I also like how it functioned too. So I thought this would be really good as well. The other thing too I really liked about this particular rogue tote is because it is not signature print shearling, um, it also matched my loafers or my slippers I got like two years ago and then also my coat um that I have my shearling coat with like the large turn locks on it um so I went ahead and like styled that together and I did like a little photo shoot and I think the outfit looks really good so I'm gonna post that later this week on my Instagram um I think and I don't know I just loved how the outfit looked so this bag was perfect for that coat and so overall pretty happy that I got this bag at the end um and I'm definitely also gonna do a individual review on this bag and also a first impressions video as well so stay tuned for that okay so it does it for today's video over all the items in today's haul if you guys have any questions about the bags or anything i showed in today's video just leave a comment down below and i can definitely try to help you out or you can also message me on instagram as well and i can try to help you out that way um but yeah hopefully you guys like today's video enough to consider liking and subscribing and also remember to follow me on instagram too for more handbag related content um, but other than that, guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye.